Oh, hey, Vinny, you remember old man Fatelli, right? Oh, yeah, he's got a new girl on his arm every week. Yeah, well, he had the newest one with him when he walked into a jewelry store last Friday, and he says to everybody in the store, I'm buying this beautiful young girl the most expensive ring in the store. Jeweler gets excited and pulls out a $40,000 ring. Wow. Yeah, so he, he tells the jeweler, I'm going to pay for this by check. You, I'll pick it up on Monday after it's cleared from this account. Well, then what happened? Well, he goes back on Monday, and the jeweler says, I'm sorry, Mr. Fatelli, but there was no money in the account. Well, what did he say? Well, <laughs> old man Fatelli laughs, and he says, yeah, I know that. Let me tell you how my weekend went. Hey, how you doing? I'm Big Pauly. This guy over here, he's Vinny two times. I don't. And we are the wise guys, and we're here to bring you our award-winning show, We Pick the Winners, where we, we pick, pick the winners. winners. You know I love birthdays, but I hear too many can kill you. <laughs> I'm so excited that you and Pauly want to double date with me and my Carlton. Mm. What do you say you come over my place? Mm -hmm. Carlton loves my cooking. Oh. No! I mean, I mean, I was the one who asked you to double, so I want to be the one that picks the plays. Mm. On one condition, you also pick up the check. There she goes again, always trying to get someone else to pay for her good time. <laughs> boo hoo hoo, I'm so poor I can't afford to pay attention. <laughs> but this time, I'll have the last laugh. <laughs> I'll get Carlton to pay. Sure, just like old times. Well, now that we got that all settled, uh, Detective Mary Matthews, Special Agent Vanessa Fitch, welcome back. Hey, Vanessa, I know just the place for your romantic get-together. Where, Sizzlers? <laughs> no, Salvatore's Steakhouse. Some people have a taste for wine, some people have a taste for desserts. But I say, there's nothing like a good piece of meat, huh? Medium rare, slightly pink in the middle, forget about it, I'm in heaven. So you can keep your plain pork, you can keep your smelly fish. For me, nothing beats a thick, juicy steak. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're buying, then I'll eat anything. Best filet mignon on both sides of the bridge, eh? Hey, I love that place, but it's kind of only for special occasions, you know? Polly, this is a special occasion. Oh. I hear the food is fabulous, but kind of pricey. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Vanessa? I love pushing Vanessa's buttons. I don't want to say she's cheap, but she squeezes a quarter so hard, the eagle screams. What she doesn't know is that I know she put that P.I. on my tail. So, Esther Jones, you're now on my list. Sure. Wouldn't have it any other way. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Oh, this must be the place. <laughs> Johnny Ringo, what are you doing here? Well, shut my mouth. I was hoping you'd be here, Mary. And why is that? Because, darling, I am fixing to make a big announcement. All right, Mary, is this guy bothering you? Oh, wee! Look who's getting his feathers all ruffled. You know, ever since that Dr. Gaylord Crane was in here with his hypnotherapy, I've been a lot calmer. I mean, as in, for instance, take that crack about the ruffled feathers from that Johnny Ringo, huh? In the past, I would have grabbed him by the neck and started squeezing until his eyes popped out like an owl's. But now, nothing. <laughs> Relax, Polly. He's harmless. Johnny and me go way back. So what's your big announcement? Well, glad you asked. I'm pleased as punch to announce that I, Johnny Ringo, am running for mayor. I do declare when Mary called me for this special assignment, I ran over here like a bat out of hell. Now I reckon Mary's a few fries short of a happy meal, but we're like two peas in the pod, and this whole mayor thing is just a ruse so I can get close to the people on her list. <laughs> so look out, Esther Jones. I'm going to knock you into the middle of next week in both ways to Sunday. <laughs> oh, great. That's all Angie needs is more competition. Oh, don't you get your panties in a bunch. Competition is good for the soul. Yeah, I got your competition right here. Now, if you don't mind, we got a show to do. Yeah, it's true. Hey, ladies, why don't you go get ready for your fantasy girl segment? It is coming right up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After you, darling. 
right. Yeah. Well, this is going to work out. All right. Yeah. Well, this is the part of the show where we tell you all about the rest of the show. We've got all the things you come to know and love like that bust out, bust out game of the week. We've also got an ironclad lock, lead pipes inch personally picked, whack, whack of the week. week. And of course, we have our fantasy matchup. And who helps us pick the fantasy matchup? It's my favorite pot. It's everybody's favorite pot. It's those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls. Hi, wise guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never get tired of that. Oh, yeah. This is wonderful. All right. Hey, hey it's kind of new, but yeah. let's pick some games. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right. First, we're going to uh, tell you about the games that we both agree on. We both agree that the Arizona Cardinals should beat the Minnesota Vikings. That's going to be a good game. Should though. be a good game. Arizona sometimes has trouble against the run, so it could be yeah, interesting. It could be right? very interesting. Mm. And we both like the Cleveland Browns. That's right. You heard us right. <laughs> We both like the Cleveland Browns over the San Francisco 19ers. I don't know what they are right now. Although they didn't win last week. I don't, I don't get it. But uh, 29ers. I'll give yeah. the 29ers. We're both taking the New York Jets to beat the Tennessee Titans. Though, you know, my, my, Mr. Mariota could surprise us. Yeah, Mariota, but, you, know, but yeah. you never know. Yeah. I like Ryan the Fitzpatrick. Yeah, we do. And we both like the Kansas City Chiefs. No longer the Chiefs because they're playing good ball. Kansas City Chiefs over the San Diego <laughs> Uncharged. Yeah, yeah, Uncharged, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we're both taking the Chicago Bears to beat the Washington Redskins. Redskins. Mm-hmm. And we both like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their puffy shirts all over the New Orleans Saints. And we both expect the Carolina Panthers to continue their winning ways over the Atlanta Falcons, though. Oh, my God. What's could going be. on with Cam? Game. Cam oh. Newton is unconscious. He's, he, he could be yeah. MVP of the league. Yeah, that would be cool. And we both like the Green Bay Packers all over the... What was that? I can't read that. What does that say? Oakland. Oakland. No, no, no. Uh, Dallas. No, is that... Uh, is that uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to... <laughs> she still got me. Yeah, so that's yeah. what that feels like. Yeah. All right, the Dallas Cowboys. All right, yeah, we agree right. Bay Packers over the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. And we both agree that the Denver Broncos should beat the Oakland Raiders. Yeah, yeah, it's a good pick. Yeah, thanks. Because of the chosen one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we both like the New England Patriots and pretty boy Tom Brady all over the Houston Texans, although J.J. Watt, he got he got neutralized last yeah, week. Yeah, Bill's yeah, handling pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And finally, we both agree that the New York Giants should beat the Miami Dolphins. Those are the games that we agreed on, and now the games we differ. differ. Uh, I I am taking the Jacksonville Jaguars over uh, Vinny's Indianapolis Colts. Why? Because I'm an idiot. I have really no idea why I picked the Jacksonville Jaguars. I know why. I had a feeling. I know why. Why? Because of Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles. There you go. Yeah. And and I like I like the Detroit Lions. That's right. The Detroit Lions with Matt Stafford. He's starting to play good ball. Mm. All over Paulie St. Louis Rams? Yeah, Are you I, kidding me? I just Rams? couldn't. I flipped a coin. There flipped you go. a coin and that's what I wound up with. Alright, well those are the games we differed on. We're both going to grab a beer. We suggest you do too. Stick around for these messages. We'll see you on the other side. Yeah, man. And we are back, and now it is time for our bust out, bust out game of the week. Vinny, two times, take it away. Okay, Big Polly, we got a good one here. Our bust out, bust out game of the week has the seven and five Pittsburgh Steelers at the ten and two Cincinnati Bengals as Big Ben Roethlisberger takes on Andy the Ginger Dolphin at Paul Brown Stadium. Okay, Big Polly. Who do you like? Well, I'm about to make your wife extremely happy. What? Uh, I, no, I mean, I'm picking the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, that's I'm a, taking the that's Steelers about, over the Cincinnati you better Bengals. better say that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just think uh, uh, that this is a game where the uh, we're calling it the bust out because I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to step up and beat the Cincinnati Bengals, who have been the quality of the league this year. That's true. Um, I just think it's going to be a good game. I think it'll be a good close game. It's going to be 35, uh, 35-28. Who? Pittsburgh Steelers. Good pick, Paul. I like that pick. Thank you. I like the way you think. Thank you. I'm going a little different, Rudy. Are you kidding me? Cincinnati is playing great ball. They're at home. You got the ginger playing great. You got AJ Green finally waking up and playing good. And, you know, they're starting to run the ball. They got all the phases going. I like it. I I think it's going to be a blowout. I like Cincinnati in a blowout. And 94 to 3. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Hey, ladies, you have an opinion on this game, Uh, especially to Vanessa Fitch. Uh, Who do you like in this game? I'm going with the um, Bengals. There you go. Any particular reason why? They're 10 and 2 and they're playing at home. Oh, there you go. Off on Detective Mary Matthews, you got an opinion on this game? Um, I got a sweet tooth for ginger snaps. All right, so you're going with the uh, Cincinnati Bengals? Yep. All right, okay, well, there, there you, you go. go. Well, that was our bust out, bust out game of the week, and now it is time for our ironclad lock. Lead pipe since personally picked whack, whack of the week. week. Oh, that's <laughs> music well to done. my ears. Well done. Hey, like I'm going to go first, Big Polly. Yeah, that's unusual. Yeah, okay. <laughs> my can't miss, got to have it, whack of the week, has the 7-5 and five Seattle Seahawks at the 4-8 and eight Baltimore Ravens as Russell Wilson, the volleyball, I've been calling him the soccer ball, know, he's the volleyball, yeah. but takes on Matt 
pick six shop at m and Bank Stadium. Okay, Big Polly, let's review, shall we? That is your okay. process. What has Seattle been doing the last couple of years? Uh, winning. And going to Super Bowls? True. Okay, and this is the time of the year they really bring, bring it all together. They're playing great on offense, they're playing great on defense, they're not missing a beat without the, the beast. And what, what's going on with Baltimore? What are they on, the third quarterback? Jimmy Clausen could be playing quarterback sure, here. Sure. Thank God it's not pick six uh, bad shot, but I think Seattle's going to win in a blowout, eh, say 104 to 3. I agree. <laughs> Pretty much everything you said, except possibly the score. I think it'll be a little closer. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that was your whack of the week, and now it is time for my ironclad lock. Let Pipe Cinch personally picked whack of the week. Ooh, that was a very, very intense whack. Yes, it was. All right. My game features the six and six Buffalo Bills up against the five and seven Philadelphia Eagles as what Tyrod T-Mobile Taylor takes on Sam. Ouch, my knee, Bradford, <laughs> at Lincoln Financial Field. <laughs> All right, um, I have been going back and forth with this. Uh, like the Eagles, they play such quality ball, two or three quarters out of a game. Yeah, and uh, the Buffalo Bills, they play such good ball, once in a while. But in this case, I am taking the Buffalo Bills. I feel like they're on they're on the raise. And yeah, I like so. that. I like yeah. the way you think. So. I'm also going with the Buffalo Bills, yeah, even though I, when I pick them, they lose. But this week, they gotta win. They yeah. gotta win, and it's a revenge game or uh, for uh, Le- LeSean. Yeah, Le'Shawn he's Sean coming McCoy, back Shane to Philly. McCoy. So come on, big three. They got the triplets. You got Tyrod. You got uh, Sammy Watkins. LeSean. Here we go, Buffalo. We there can do go. it. All Ready? right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Philly won. But anyway. All right. Well, there you go. And now it is time for the fantasy matchup. And what is the fantasy matchup, you may ask? Well, that's when you, our fans, send in your questions about your fantasy football teams. And those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls answer those questions. Vinny, two times, what is this week's question? We got a good one, Big Polly. It comes from Rocky Top 210. Mm, and he says, fantasy. hey, I got two tight ends. I got to pick between. I can only play one. I have Owen Daniels or Delaney Walker. Who do I play? Help. Oh, wow. That's a good question. Ladies? Well, Delaney Walker, tight end for the Tennessee Titans, has 67 catches, 810 yards, and four touchdowns. And he's the primary receiver. Oh, that's true. That's That's true. true. Or Owen Daniels, who is the tight end for the Denver Broncos. He has 35 catches, 375 yards, and three touchdowns. But he's a tight end by committee. That's true. That's true. So the obvious choice is Delaney Walker. <laughs> Wow. These goes like good. That's amazing. All right. Well, there you go. There's your help on your fantasy matchup. And now, go visit our website. We use thewiseguys.net. That's thewiseguys.net. Wouldn't this look good on your table? The holidays are just a couple of weeks away. Come on, you guys. Look at all the swag you can get. Come yeah. on. And also, hey, stick around for our video guest whack. Thanks, wise guys. Hello, YouTubers and NFL fans everywhere. This is Matt, the NFL fanatic, giving you my whack of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the fanatic here is going to tell you to take the Kansas City Chiefs to beat the San Diego Chargers as my whack of the week. And please make sure to check out Matt the NFL Fanatic on YouTube and Facebook. Back to you, wise guys. And we are back. Hey, week number 14. Week number 13. Team wasn't so bad, huh? No, a little unlucky for me, but because uh, I went eight and eight, but you, you're good. You went ten and six. That's right. It is official. Things are moving faster than green grass through a goose. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving so soon. Johnny, you never said how you know Mary. Hmm. Well, um... well, if you must know, Vanessa, I met Johnny at the shooting range. Oh. He's the one who helped me beat your bullseye record. Oh, hey, Johnny. Um, Mary and I are going to the rapper room to go dancing tonight. Maybe you should uh, join us, huh? Well, if there's going to be other lovely ladies there, you can count me in. But first, I got to get me some vittles. I'm so hungry, I could eat the north end of a southbound pole cat. Ooh. Okay, we'll text you when we're there. Hey, let's get the girls dancing. Yeah, let's I don't do understand that. what the heck this guy's talking about. <laughs> hey, the music is playing, the girls are dancing. That means it's the end of the show, and it's time to say thank you to all the wonderful people who made the show possible. First and foremost, we want to say thank you to those wonderful people at the Wacker 6000. That would be us. So thank you, Vinny, two times. Thank you, Big Polly. And we're going to go ahead and say thank you to the newest person to throw their hat into the mayoral ring. That would be Mr. Johnny Ringo. Thanks for showing up, huh? Yeah, have some fun with those vittles. Yeah. And finally, we want to say thank you to everybody's favorite part of the show. Those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fans. Fantasy Girls! Thanks, wise guys! <laughs> oh, I never get tired of that. Yeah, so, 
Well, hey, Big Polly, you know, week 13, and look, we got one unde undefeated team who's yeah. doing really good. Yeah, the Carolina Panthers, I I'd love to see them go all the way. Probably not going to happen with the way the league is these days, but they're doing good. So. Cam's playing great, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Hey, thanks for tuning in this week to We Pick the Winners. Come on back next week where We, we Pick, pick the, the Winners. winners. I just poured it down the front of myself. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>